Jason Lewis is nuts about old fishing tackle so much so he can not only tell you when it dates from and who made it, but what waters and what kind of fish it was used for. Fly boxes. These are a little bit special. This is the club fly box um, selection by Hardy. They started these in 1905, polished mahogany. This is probably one of the very few complete sets to exist on the planet. Mayfly box, lot deeper top section so it doesn't crush the fibre. And you notice here there's a catch. That catch slides across so you can take these bars out. And those bars can then be stored in this very clever reservoir. So it's a reservoir box for flies, not for reservoir fishermen? Correct. These are flies that I actually put into this particular box. What's interesting about these is they're very bright and the material is pointing at foxes, most people. Um, there was a chap called Baden Powell, not the younger brother, the older brother, came up with the Sea Scouts and started that, but he also painted a fly called the Prismatic Fly, and this was made out of splayed pieces of gut which were dyed. Now, basically, when that goes in water and softens and moistens, it becomes an incredibly supple material, and it flicks and it kicks and it works in water, and so way ahead of its time, highly effective, very rare and very seldom seen. The 7.0 and 8.0 make reference to the hook size. We've got a mixture of gut-eye flies and metal-eye flies. Gut-eye were typically used from about 1840, 1830 onwards. Before that, the hook would have been tied with the gut length in there to attach to a leader. The metal-eye came into being around the 1860, 1870 period, but because people weren't certain and its manufacture wasn't finessed, it wasn't widely employed till the beginning of the Edwardian period. If you want to get in touch with Jason, email jasonlewis512 at aol.com.